If you like our content, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get updated every time we upload a new video. Let's see what's cooking today. Hi, Shamsa here. Welcome to Burpees. Happy to have you here. You can see a very broad smile on my face. Yes, today's recipe is going to bring a broad smile on your face too when you are going to try it out. So without wasting much time, let's make it. It's mushroom garlic stuffed dinner rolls. So yummy, so filling and you need nothing with it. So let's get started. 120 ml of water. Please make sure while baking you need to have measuring cups and measuring spoons. So 120 ml of water on room temperature. So I'm just adding here. In this, I'm putting one teaspoon of active yeast. To activate yeast, we have to put one and a half teaspoon of sugar, three, four teaspoon of salt, mix it well, and leave it for two to three minutes so that yeast gets activated. So I'm just mixing and I'm leaving it. Now see our yeast, sugar and salt all are mixed together and yeast is activated. Now I'm adding one fourth cup of slightly warm milk or you can use four tablespoons of powder milk. So I'm just adding to this. Along with that, you are going to add one big egg. Now mix everything nicely. When this is nicely mixed, you are going to add two full cups of bread flour. Please make sure you are taking bread flour and you will be adding gradually. Don't add all together, add gradually and keep on stirring. Now here comes the skill. This is going to be a very sticky batter and we are going to turn this into a dough. And when this comes to this shape, we are going to empty this on our clean kitchen counter and now see it's very sticky and you will be wondering will I be able to form it as a dough or not you will now here comes another magic ingredient I have taken two tablespoons of olive oil do not add all together first put one tablespoon and as I told you in my garlic bread also, I always smack it. So if you have not seen my garlic bread recipe, I'm giving the link above. Just keep on smacking and keep on kneading. Here you need some patience. So you will be kneading for 15 minutes as I said. And keep on kneading until it starts becoming a dough. Now see, our dough is formed and when you see that this becomes like this elastic that means your dough is ready still sticky and i told you i have taken two tablespoons of olive oil but i hardly use one tablespoon so use as much as it needs when it starts forming you don't need now i'm just going to pour some of the drops here so that i can just keep it in this this will just coat it and your dough is ready and this remaining olive oil i'm going to use in my stuffing mushroom garlic so as i told you the dough should be elastic and another tip you press your finger and when it starts coming up that means your dough is ready now i'm covering it with my beeswax wrap you can use your cling wrap but since rabia makes it she hands make and uh, she ships it worldwide and it's antibacterial so it will rise the dough very nicely because it would be totally packed and uh, in my description box I always give the link and if you really want to order it you will give uh, burpees 10 code and you will get 10%
discount. So I'm just, just with your hand heat, just cover it and keep it for a minimum of two hours for the best result. Now we are preparing mushroom garlic stuffing that will go in our dinner rolls and let's see what ingredients go inside. My pan is already on medium high flame so I'm adding one tablespoon of olive oil. You don't need to warm it up. Immediately you add one and a half tablespoon of minced garlic or you can take two tablespoons full if you love garlic. When it starts releasing aroma, you add one very mild green chili. If you want to avoid green chili, you can, but this is just for flavor. Along with that, you add white part of four to five stalks of green onion. Saute for two minutes. Now you add approximately 230 grams of mushroom that are finely chopped. This will eventually be minced and we want minced mushroom. Now you will add one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of oyster sauce. So my vegetarian friends can skip oyster sauce and they can use one additional teaspoon of soy sauce. Half a teaspoon of black pepper powder. Quarter teaspoon of red chili flakes. If you want to skip it, you can for children. Otherwise, this is not at all spicy. Here I have two tablespoons of fresh milk. Salt to taste because both the sauces had enough salt. So first, you have to be very wise and if you need, then you can add at the end. Now I'm going to mix it and I'm going to cover it for five to seven minutes until mushroom is totally soft and then we can mince it nicely and then I will tell you the last ingredient. Now see mushroom releases a lot of water so this needs to be dried up but before that we are adding the green part of green onion. First we had added the white part, now the green part and mix together and if you hit like this mushroom will be minced nicely. So now I am going to keep it open until all the liquid is dried up because we need a very dry batter, a very dry mixture to go in our dinner rolls. Now see our batter is totally ready. I'm turning the flame off and I will keep it on the counter to let it come down to room temperature. So this is the dough that I had prepared earlier to save my time and your time but I just want to show it to you that when you made the dough after two hours this would be the result. See how nicely it has been raised and uh, this is what we want. So now I am going to put this on this kitchen counter, clean counter and I have dusted it with flour and I am going to roll it. Why we are rolling it? Because we need 8 parts equal and it depends on you. You want to make 6, you can make 6. I am making 8. So now I am cutting in 8 equal parts. So now you take one part of this and you roll it, flatten it as if you are making small chapati and in the center you take one tablespoon of this mixture that we prepared, cover it like this. And then shape it again like a ball. Like this. And uh, let me do all and then I will show you how it needs to go in the pan. 
So now see I have taken this size of pan and I have lined it. I sprayed some oil and I lined it with parchment paper. So now all the balls that I made, all the dinner rolls stuffed, I have kept. Make sure you keep some space between each dinner roll. Why? Because we are making cotton soft pull apart dinner rolls. So it will rise again and I'm covering it again with my beeswax wrap and I'm leaving it for a minimum of 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, we are going to bake it. Now see, in 30 minutes, uh, dough has raised again and you see the gaps also have disappeared. And this is what we want. Now I'm going to give an egg wash on each and I'm going to bake it at 350 degree for a minimum of 25 to 30 minutes. Now see, I'll just show you cotton soft pull apart dinner rolls stuffed dinner rolls are ready so today my younger one she loves this and she's going to taste and she's going to verify in front of you how it turned out yeah so the first time she made these I couldn't stop telling her how good they were that's why she wants me to try it just so I can tell her how good they are again <laughs> <laughs> It's so good, so mm. good. Not spicy at all. I don't like spicy food anymore. It melts in your mouth. It does, so hot and soft. During Ramadan, you don't need anything else. And even on other days, it's a perfect balance of carb, veggies, and dairy. You just need a hot cup of chai with it and nothing else. Couple of these dinner rolls would make a complete meal for you. See you soon with another healthy yumminess. Bye!